Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And um, so a little bit of a different video today. As you guys know that I'm pretty transparent with you guys, I kind of opened up about personal aspects of my life and shared with you guys. But one, obviously, uh, there are new people to the channel. So just to kind of give you insight of, I guess you could say, the channel itself, there's a question that I've never really answered. And it pertains to the moniker of this channel or the name. So what is Aloha Android? Why did I even use that as a name for a channel? And it, it dawned on me uh, last night on the live broadcast with um, Sam, with Mike, Pete, Rishi, and myself. Um, it was a great show. A little bit nervous being on there, you know. <laughs> Um, the nervous jitters of being on a live stream with a group of people, um, but uh, I'll eventually I'll settle in and get comfortable with it, um, as I do plan to do more live streams with Sam. So, again, big shout out to Sam. Thank you so much for having me on there, even though I was late. Not a not a great way to make a first impression um, for the SMT Nation to be late to the broadcast. That's yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm going to answer the question. Why did I even come up with that name? Like, what, what was the purpose behind it? And really, it kind of stems back to the way that I grew up. Now, I'm a military brat. Been to a lot of places. Um, but I grew up in Hawaii, mostly. And, uh, you know, you kind of get... Uh, you you got to toss out that whole imagery of beaches, pineapples, hula dancers, and stuff like that. Because that's the cliche thing of Hawaii. Um... Hawaii is the melting pot for a vacation spot. Lots of various different cultures come to Hawaii to vacation, and a lot of um, various cultures are brought into Hawaii and are adopted. So you, know, you have the Hawaiian culture. It's mixed in with a lot of Japanese, some Australian, um, and other Polynesian cultures are brought in. So... Even um, Micronesian and Malaysian culture is brought in. So there's a lot going on in Hawaii, but it's it's accepting of different cultures. I mean, sure, for some people who know somebody from Hawaii, maybe you probably heard something that kind of tarnishes the image. Um, but let me just say this, though. And the, the whole entire time that I grew up there, um, the one thing I never really had to worry about was feeling left out. I think that's probably one of the most craziest places to ever live and you not feel lonely. I mean, you can literally just like go and try to be by yourself for a whole day, head over to like, you know, a beach spot just to chill, just to get away from life and think you're going to have some solitude just to chill. But someone's going to come along and strike up a conversation with you. And, and without you even knowing it, just, you know, the energy that's between in that conversation just opens you up. And you feel warmth and goodness and joy. Just striking a conversation with someone totally random. It makes you feel good. So the acceptance of all things coming together to make something better. And um, I wanted to represent that with talking mobile technology with people who would like to listen. As I said in the live stream last night, and I really meant it. It wasn't just to throw a joke and make people laugh. It really is true. Everyone in this household, they're not they're not sick and tired of me in that way, like in a negative way of you know hearing me talk tech. But I can tell it's just because it, it's not their forte. It's not what they're interested in. So they'll listen, but it's hard for them to follow along when they don't really understand. And they don't want me to continuously break it down because then I won't shut up. So... <laughs> I, like I said, I needed to find people that would listen. And YouTube was the spot where people would just click on a video, listen to what I had to say. And whether they liked the video or disliked the video, that's not a priority for me. Whether they subscribed or didn't subscribe was not a major priority for me. Like, you know, I ask you guys to subscribe so you don't miss out any videos. If you do like my videos, you won't miss anything. But your subscription does not validate me like as being something special because whether I'm at one subscriber or a million subscribers, I'm still not special. I don't view YouTube as this quick way to get famous type thing. It's not like that for me. It's 
a, a way for me to just get all this all this tech savviness inside me and just get it out there for everyone to take a chance to listen whether they like it or not is their choice you know um and i think with the aloha spirit which is you know the acceptance of all things becoming one not isolating anything not exiling anything being open and welcoming um kind of goes hand in hand with android my favorite and preferred operating system android is open source i think that's the only thing that i can say that i dislike about ios even though i haven't used ios the fact is that it's closed out it's closed right so there's not a lot of tinkering you can do with it there's not a lot of changings or, or things that you can do and with a company that has by far a few times have actually told their consumers that their consumers were using their product wrong rather than fixing issues that their consumers were giving them feedback on really just kind of like knocked me for a loop why I wouldn't really give it a chance. And um, so Android it is open source. You can do whatever you want. And I mean, open source. Yeah, I have a Pixel 3 right here on Android 10. I have successfully flashed Android 10 on my Nexus 5X. This is a four-year-old phone soon to be five-year-old phone. I flashed Android 10 on it. Okay. Now 10 is not stable. So I brought it back to Android 9 Pi. But again, breathing new life into an Android device and it's open source. This was the, the, the ROM that's running on the phone is not by Google. It's actually by a person just like me sitting in a room just like me and coding up a storm to make this operating system, this version of it work on an older piece of hardware. So I think the two kind of go hand in hand and is the reason why I named the channel what it is. So even though like right now it's tagged under my name, of course, it's always and will forever be known as a law of Android. At one point, because I was extending beyond just talking about mobile technology, I tried to change it up, but the name just sticks. And I've had several other content creators who I appreciate their feedback tell me that they actually like the name. I thought that people would have thought the name was pretty generic or just like a cliche thing. Like, oh, well, you know, he's lived in Hawaii, so call it Aloha Android. But, you know, I never got that response back, which is a really cool thing. But I also figured, you know, since I didn't get that kind of response back, I never really answered why I named the channel that. And I figured today was a great day to kind of just let you all know. So... Yeah, that's um, that's it in a nutshell. Like double A, Aloha Android. That's what it is. Basically, acceptance of all things and open source. They go hand in hand. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So, yeah, if you guys have any other questions you guys want to ask me, you guys can drop it in the comment section of the video. I'll be more than happy to answer it there. Again, shout out to Sam for having me on the show last night. And um, I will join him again when he does another one. If he does another live stream this week and he invites me on, I'll jump on. If it's this Sunday where we have a group of us, I'll try to be a little bit more sociable. I uh, know it really wasn't. Like I said, it was just an, the jitters of being in a group. I don't know if they felt the same thing, um, but I did. So, however, we'll see what happens um, as the dynamics grow. And um, that's it. For this video nothing more to it thanks for watching if you just subscribed i really appreciate that and hit the bell option to be notified when i upload another video and as i always end it aloha by the way if you missed the live stream go in there because apparently i just found out out of the out of the five of us, I was the oldest. <laughs> that was kind of crazy, but hey, it is what it is.